Hello, my name is Mitch Powell, and today I'm going to be talking about tacking. Tacking is a way of changing direction in a sailboat where the bow or the front of the boat crosses the no-go zone and lands on the other side. Uh, you need to know how to tack if you're trying to get to a destination that is upwind, because as you already know, like we talked about before, a sailboat cannot sail into the wind. There is a no-go zone, and anywhere in that zone, the sails will just luck. So in order to sail to a point that is upwind, you have to sail at angles to get there. So if I'm trying to get from point A to point B, I have to zigzag my way upwind, tacking my way to get to the point upwind. Um, now, there are a couple six simple steps to know how to tack that we'll be talking about today. The first one of these steps is to check your surroundings. When you tack, you'll be sitting on the opposite side of the boat. The sail will be facing, you'll be facing the sail. And when you tack, you're gonna be landing somewhere towards your back is. So when you check your surroundings, you're gonna to wanna to turn all the way around and make sure there's nothing that you could possibly hit when you tack. Because if you don't check your surroundings and you tack, you could run into another boat or an obstacle and injure yourself or damage your boat. And we don't want to do that. So check your surroundings. And after the surroundings are clear and there's no one in your way, you can then push the tiller towards the sail. Now, you'll sit on the opposite side of the sail. And when you push the tiller towards the sail, the boat will begin to head up into the wind. And the sails will begin to luff. Now, this is when the next step comes into play. Step number three is duck. Now, as you continue to push the tiller towards the sail, the boom will come over and you will duck under it. After you've ducked under the boom, you go into step four, which is change sides. Now when you change sides, you always want to face forward. You never want to turn around because you'll get caught up in your main sheet and you're not looking where you're going. So you change sides and you always look where you're going, towards the front or the bow of the boat. After you change sides, you want to put the tiller back in the middle of the boat and gain control. Now, gain control means if the boat is heeling over, you want to flat it out. If the boat is steering in the wrong direction, you can steer the boat with the tiller behind your back. You don't need to switch hands until you've got control of your boat. Once you've got control of your boat, then you can focus on switching hands. And the way you switch your hands is you take the hand that has the main sheet and you go behind your back and put it in the hand that has the tiller. The tiller hand will come under your arm and your main sheet hand will come back in front of you and then you successfully switched your hands and you can continue sailing on your new tack. Now there were a couple things you do not want to do when you tack. One of those things would be to let go of the tiller. Letting go of the tiller is bad because then you cannot control your boat and if you can't control your boat you run the risk of running into someone else or running ashore or other bad stuff. So you always want to hang on to the tiller. The next thing you never want to do when tacking is turn around backwards when switching sides. If you turn around backwards when you switch sides, you're not looking where you're going and you can get tangled up in your main sheet. So we want to avoid that. So do not turn around backwards. Uh, the next thing you do not want to do when tacking is sit on the same side of the sail. If you sit on the same side as the sail, the boat becomes unbalanced and you could flip over or capsize. And it's hard to see if the sail is luffing if you're sitting on the same side. So you do not want to sit on the same side as the sail. Another thing you do not want to do when tacking is forget to put the tiller back in the middle of the boat. After you change sides of the boat, you want to immediately put the tiller back in the middle. Once the sail goes from one corner of the boat to the next corner, you want to put it back in the middle because if you forget to do that, your boat will continue to just turn and turn and turn and you can go into a job and hurt yourself. So once the boat, once the sail crosses the boat, you put the tiller back in the middle. Now, once again, the steps of tacking very quickly are check your surroundings. If the surroundings are clear, push the tiller towards the sail. The boat will head up into the wind. You duck under the boom. You change sides facing forwards and looking where you're going. You then put the tiller back in the middle and gain control of the boat. Then you switch your hands and you've completed the tack. Now one thing that I will say about tacking 
that is important to remember is you have to be moving in order to tack. If you're sitting in a car that's parked in a parking lot and you turn the steering wheel, the car will not turn because it's not moving. In order for, same goes with the sailboat, in order for a sailboat to actually turn, it has to be moving. So if you, if you want to tack, you, make, you have to be moving in the direction quickly enough so that when you push the tiller away from you, the boat will make it all the way through the no-go zone. Because if you're not going fast enough, the boat will not make it all the way through the no-go zone and you'll get stuck in irons or get stuck in the no-go zone with your sails flapping. So you want to be going fast enough to make sure the boat can make it all the way over to the next side. And after you've done that, you've completed the tack.